What's up? Howdy. Uh, it's the Laura Cross podcast because I want to be able to talk about whatever I want. And I love that. Yeah, so I want to be put in one category. Yeah. But today, um, me and Parker just got done with a shoot um, along with Sir Leo Cross. Yep, he's over there. Yeah, he's over there. He's oh. hiding. <laughs> yeah, but he's still here. <laughs> he's with us in spirit, not on the camera, but he's here. Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, um, I know a lot of y'all are interested in all things um, fetish, adult industry, um, and sort of non-traditional alternative jobs. Yeah. And... The alt-life we live. The alt-life that we live, yes. So I figured that Parker's guys would have um, some excellent stories to tell. I do. Along with, you know, maybe some fun advice to anyone thinking that they might be trying to get a side hustle or getting into the industry. Um, common pitfalls and all sorts of things. Yeah. Yeah. Let's dive in. Let's just dive in. So, cheers. Cheers, bitch. Cheers, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> um, so how long have you been in the industry? I just celebrated my porn anniversary. Porn anniversary? What did you do? Nothing. I posted a picture on Instagram. Excellent. <laughs> that was it. Was it a hot picture or was it like normal? It was like it. Like average. nobody flagged it. It yeah, wasn't even. It's it was like a normal pen. Wasn't even in danger of being flagged. Yeah, I should have done more. <laughs> I should have done more to celebrate. But it was a very lazy porn anniversary <laughs> post. I actually, it was just like, oh my God, it's been a year. And I posted a picture yeah. and said, cheers to me. So that was all I did. Yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. Um. So. Are you where you thought you would be when you initially started? No. Okay. Where did you think you would be? I had no idea. Probably. I never thought I would really get anywhere. Okay. I was just like, I'm going to try this. I'm going to see where, I, where it goes. And I just remember like seeing people with like lots of followers on Twitter and being like, oh my God, that's so like crazy. Yeah. And like, I mean, I'm not, small. I'm not like crazy. I don't have like an insane amount of followers or anything, but I feel like I've come a long way in a year mm -hmm. and I'm pretty, I'm pretty proud of myself for what As I've accomplished in one year. So, yeah. So, all right. So for you, what was your motivation to get into the industry? Um, it was like, actually, like, I never, like, wanted to be in the industry. It Got was it. never, like, something that I was like, I'm going to do porn. You yeah. know, like, it was never something that, like, I was like, I want to do this. Yeah. I kind of stumbled into it. Like, I made um, an account on this website called Sexy Jobs. Uh -huh. And I just kind of did it, yep. hoping I could get some, like, money on the side. Yeah. And, like, it kind of just, like, blew up to the point where I was like, oh, my gosh. Like, I'm making I more need to quit my day job. Like, I'm my wasting my time, like, yeah, working at a law firm. Yep. So, yeah, it was kind of just, like, an accidental, like, made a profile. It blew up. And. That's great. Yeah. So, Yeah. And so, did you enjoy... What was your first shoot? Do you remember your absolute first shoot? Yes. Tell me about that. It was in um, Nashville, Tennessee uh, cool. with brandnewamateurs.com. Okay. And I remember driving there terrified. Oh, absolutely. So scared. Like, I don't know what to expect. Like, I'm so scared. I remember having to, like, stop at a Longhorn Steakhouse and drink a double vodka soda before I got there. Like, I'm gonna do oh, this. Like, oh I'm gonna God. do it. <laughs> it's gonna be great. Yeah. And then, yeah, I got there and I was like, I can't believe I'm doing this. But it kind of flowed supernaturally. That's and good. I just, like, did it. And I was like, no big deal to me. Yeah. You know? Like, I liked it. Yeah. It was fun. fun. Good money. And cool. I was like, I'm I'm down. I'm down yeah. with this. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Well, I mean, I've been like a very sexual person uh, before. Yeah. Cool. So like, I wasn't like afraid of sex or like, okay. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I liked having sex with people. So cool. <laughs> yeah. Had you ever already done like lifestyle things before getting into the industry? No. Oh, okay. Um, I just gone through 
like I would go through phases mm -hmm. where I would just be like, I don't know, I just I would get horny. Yep. And like when I sure. go out and like meet people, yeah. I like to have like random sex, I yep. guess. Like at bars, right. I like to meet people and like, like I'm it, was, it was like the thrill, you yeah. know, like meeting a stranger and like dragging them back to the house and like having like <laughs> hot sex with them. Yeah. And like now that I'm in the industry, that's something I don't do at all. That's so <laughs> you know funny. I mean? But you liked it. Yeah. Back then, like before I got into the industry, that was like what I like to do. Like that's it was cool. like fun to like. Who am I gonna bring home? Tonight? Yeah, who is like, I I'm horny. Tonight? Like I wanna have sex. Like I'm gonna find a hot guy tonight. Yeah. So it was like a chase, and um, that's fun. So yeah, that's why I was like getting into. A lot of my friends said it made sense that I was doing porn. Yeah. Because they were like, you're such a horny person. They're like, no one. They were like, you're already doing it anyway, so why don't you get paid? Thank so. God you're paying your bills. Yeah, exactly. So now it's like the opposite. Invest. Yeah, I like don't ever go out and meet people at bars anymore. Now I just like have sex at work, which is still great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, that's how it all began. That's cool. Okay, so when was the first time you ever had sex? Oh my god, when I was um 14, oh, okay. I've been mm -hmm. dating this guy, he's still so hot, shout out Staten, love you, <laughs> we still talk on Instagram sometimes, oh, yeah. yeah, we're still close, <laughs> not close, but we still talk, yeah. and he was so hot, he was my high school boyfriend, and I remember we were like trying to figure out a way to like lose our virginities to each other, Aww. yeah, and his like best friend's mom would like let him stay home all the time, so we convinced his best friend's mom to let us we called it boinking. We were like, we can boink in his house. Yeah. And um, we boinked. <laughs> and I lost my virginity to Sublime. Oh, what, a, what song? What song? 40 Ounces of Freedom. Yes. And a I bare mattress Sublime. with no sheets. Yes. <laughs> that is so good. I know. I used to be so embarrassed. And now I'm like, dude, that's, no, that's, that's right as hell, right? Yeah, it is great. <laughs> Yeah, for the first um, couple years I was married, we slept on a mattress on the ground. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. We had threesomes on a mattress on there's the something ground. Hot, there's something hot about a mattress on the ground with yeah. the sheets. Yeah, it was like our first ever like lifestyle experiences were on a mattress on it's the like ground. It's like extra dirty. But, yes, it is. But what's so weird is like it was in a high class, like really nice upscale like apartment complex, but we just had fucking mattress but on the no ground. But no sheets. Where were y'all sheets at? Oh no no no, we, we had sheets. sheets. We had sheets. On the oh okay. We See, did we didn't. Chime in. Chime in. Sleep. <laughs> we didn't have sheets to sleep under. But we did have one of the original cardboard boxes from our move as our side table. Oh, that is so cute. Yeah. It was oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah, for like a while. Yeah, that's how it's, that's how it should be when you're mm -hmm. younger. You shouldn't have like king size beds with all that shit. That no, nice thing? You should be fucking on a bare mattress listening to Sublime. Yes. While your parents aren't home. I totally agree. Right? Yes. Maybe smoking a joint. Yeah. That's how it should be. Hundred percent. Makes it hot. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, like I remember a lot of my first like childhood experiences with experimenting with all the things. Um were like Sublime. I'm trying to think of some of the other bands. It was like all of those like chill. Three Eleven. Three Eleven. Thank you. That was the one I was yeah, thinking of. Yeah, Three Eleven was a good one. Yeah, like Amber. Let's well, see. I was also. This is super embarrassing. I was also a huge Backstreet Boys fan. At I this love time, Backstreet Boys, but and... I, I wouldn't let my you know drag your friends know that. Oh well, <laughs> see, I let everyone know. <laughs> And I remember, I like, like it was right after I lost my virginity, I made, it was, like, right before a Backstreet Boys concert, I made my boyfriend sneak into my parents' guest house. Yeah. So we could go have sex right before the Backstreet Boys concert. That's funny. Yeah, and I wore a shirt that said, Property of Backstreet Boys 1998. <laughs> and he got mad at me. He was like, what? No, you're my property. You're not the Backstreet Boys property. <laughs> you're like, yeah, but if they asked me, I would leave you. Yeah, I would totally, <laughs> would, I would totally right go fuck AJ in two seconds. <laughs> See you later. Bye. That's Just really kidding, funny. Satan. <laughs> Love you forever. I keep thinking you're that you're saying Satan. Satan. Mm -hmm. I keep thinking you're saying Satan. 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 So my name, my real name, if any of y'all know that, um, has uh, auto-corrected to Satan many, many times. <laughs> like, I'll just be typing it wrong in my phone. I'm like, well, it's oh, well my <laughs> name would also be randomly corrected to Satan. Yes. 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 So, <laughs> it's fine. It's not a big deal. 
Satan, Laura Parker, same thing. Yeah, right? whatever. <laughs> yeah, same thing. Um, so what would you say has been your apex, top of the mountain experience um, since coming into the industry? Um, I'd probably say going to Expez. Okay. It was like so wild like going to expos and meeting all these like like super well-known performers and like meeting them and hanging out with them and filming with most of them that's cool and it was just like you know a lot of the people that i filmed with were like super well-known like you know like flesh mechanic and Mm. and they wanted to film with me and i was like shocked like you know i was like oh my gosh like and everyone was like way to go way to go and i was like this is it was just like wild it was like a crazy party and hanging out with like famous porn people, topless porn parties, like it was like just it was a really fun, cool experience. Yeah. I slept for two days after it was over. I <laughs> bet. And I did not want to have sex for like a month afterwards. Also and, bet. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure the people at the hotel thought I was like running a brothel. Oh yeah. Because I had to go like let everyone into my room that I was filming with, and they were like, "This woman is let." so many men in today <laughs> like we're yeah, just filming making porns yeah so we're yeah just hanging out for an hour and a half and then they have to go and then the next one comes yeah, i don't know where they're going but yeah we, i made a lot of pornos and had a lot of fun oh. and met so many cool people and mm-hmm. it was like one of the coolest experiences um i've had i can't wait to do it again yeah is there do you have a favorite Mm, we'll call male favorite male that you've shot with independent male i'll probably say ben Dillon. cool from vegas he's one of the first people i shot with and he's also he became a very close friend of mine that's like we just like check in with each other and talk and yeah you know he's just like an awesome guy and he was one of the first people that i shot with and he kind of guided me and gave me tips he's like my like porn dad in like a perverted way love that (laughs) I love that yeah, for love sure. Yeah, love Ben. You're awesome. But so. you also pegged. Yeah, I pegged him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I fucked him in his ass hard. <laughs> Did he like it though? He loved it. Yeah, he, he loved it. But he's also fucked me in my ass hard, so. So then, yeah. Yeah, it's a win-win. Full switch. It's fair, it's fair. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah. He, he also loves, like, the biggest like dildos ever like wide that he chooses for himself and i'm like why would you choose this for yourself ben this is like a giant cock and he's like it's just what i pick <laughs> okay i'll okay. pick it i'll pick a tiny a teeny weeny one but let's do this hardcore man whatever he's, you he's want committed to the game you yeah know? whatever you want yeah I'm if you want a it. big dildo in your ass i'm gonna give it to you yeah so what do you think is the biggest turn on to you within a scene um men that are attentive to a woman's needs yes you know yeah because there's so many guys that are just like about themselves or you know but like when a man like really like asks you like what are you okay with what are you not okay with Mm -hmm. like what feels good to you what does it feel good to you like that's like just a big turn on. That was like, you're looking out for me as a person, yeah. as a human. And Did Ben do a good job with that? Oh, yes. 100%. Excellent. Every time we would talk about, you know, what's okay, what's not okay. And That's nice. Yeah. If cool. it was disrespectful. Anybody who's disrespectful to me, like, I will not film with them. That's great. Um, what was your worst experience? I actually already know this, but it's a good story, and I think it's interesting to hear. About the jerk-off guy? Yes, Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, this is, like, horrific. (laughs) (laughs) And most people would be traumatized by this, but I don't know. I guess I'm fucked up and I want to know Yeah, you shredged it off. Yeah. (laughs) So, this guy reached out to me, and he was like, I'm going to pay you this much money to come, like, stay with me and film for a couple days. And it was a very substantial amount of money, and I was also going to get the the content. And I was like, this is a great deal. So, I agreed, and I went out to meet him. And when I met him, I originally got, like, very, like, turned off by Yes. Like, he was a weirdo. Like, I was like, ugh. I can't believe I have to like I'm trapped here. here and we had to share a hotel which is like one thing I'll never do again no, with no, another no. person ever like totally. I will not share a sleeping space with a person after this no so the first day we filmed first day went by you know he's weird second day went by 
and I was like sleeping and I woke up and I look over and he's literally jerking off watching me sleep. Yeah. And I was just like, oh my God. So I just rolled over and went back yeah. to bed. I was like, I'm not going to make a big deal. I'm you could go back to bed. Yeah, I was just like. That's impressive. Oh, well, I, like I said, I really value my sleep. Yes. It's, 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 <laughs> and if I got up and started yelling at him, I would be so angry I wouldn't be able to go back to sleep. Yeah. So I was like, okay, I'll deal with this another time. I'm sleeping. So, but the next day I was like, I'm disgusted by this person. Yeah. You know, so he was like, let's go out for lunch. And I was like, I need to go have like alcoholic beverages to yeah. go film with this person again because yeah. I'm so disgusted. And he went, I remember he wanted to go to Steak and Shake. He had a 10% off coupon. <laughs> and he was dead set on going to Steak and Shake to use his 10% off coupon. And I was like, no, I'm going to this random saloon over here <laughs> and I'm ordering chicken tenders and drinking vodka. Yeah, you have fun. Them. Yeah. So we like argued about Steak and Shake and chicken tenders. <laughs> and we went back to the hotel and I went to the back room and I came back out and he was sitting on the sofa, butt naked, jerking off again, just by himself. And <laughs> I was like, who does this? Yeah. That's and so yeah. yeah, I approached him and I was like, this is so unprofessional. Like, this is like not what you do. Like when you hire a model to film with you, you don't jerk off in front of him. You go to the bathroom to do that. Like, this is like, I'm not like a prostitute you know yes, thank you yeah i'm not a hope if you wanted to go and sit around and jerk off with some girl in your room hire a prostitute i'm not a prostitute yes yeah and I, I i told him i was like look dude like i'm not gonna film with you anymore like you've made me highly uncomfortable you need to just pay me what you owe me and i'm gonna leave and he was like yeah. i'll give you 200 dollars and I had already been there for almost three days. And he had, oh, that's fucked he up. He had promised me, like, a lot more than that. Yeah, sure. And we got into this huge screaming match. He tried to take my phone. I had to punch him. I've never punched anyone. You, where did you punch him? In the head. Where? Like, boink. Boink. Yeah. Yeah, like that. Because <laughs> he tried to take my phone. I'm like, I'm not a confrontational person. Oh, yeah. I've never yeah, been in a fight my whole life. Good for you. But he tried to take my phone, and I was like, No. It was crazy. <laughs> but then, so I like got my phone, got my stuff left, got my own hotel room, and then he canceled my flight home and it was during a snowstorm. What a dick. Yes, asshole. I bet you would have lost money on that trip. Well, did I tell you about how I Yeah, you did, but I want to hear about it. Okay. <laughs> so, <laughs> this is not the end of the story. Yeah. This guy did not win, okay? I did not let him win. So. <laughs> Anyway, so I, I, it took me forever to find a flight home. I ended up getting home. I lost money going on this trip and I was so upset. But my friend, I have a friend who's in the Marines and he was like, no, fuck that. Fuck that guy. He should not take advantage of you. What is his name? Where does he live? Blah, blah, blah. And I was like, oh, I have a picture of his ID. Yeah, you have all that info. Yeah, because, you know, for model releases, I had to take a picture of his ID. So I sent him a picture of his ID and he found out where this guy worked where his parents lived, what his name was, and everything. Yeah. And he basically sent threatening, we blackmailed him, like mafia people. <laughs> yeah. And we were like, and he was like, the girl you fucked with is really fucked because of you. She can't pay her bills. You need to pay her money right now or I'm coming for you. Yeah, just pay her what, y'all, what yeah, you and owe I was her like, And I was everything. like, I wasn't asking for the whole total. I was just like, you know, I was with you for three days. You owe me more than $200, yeah, three, motherfucker. Three, through the three days. Yeah. And so he basically threatened him and was like, I'm going to tell your boss what you do yeah. and how you abuse, you know, porn stars for yeah. a living if you don't pay this girl what she's owed. So. And he did it. I got my money. Yeah, did he give you any bonus? No, I'm just but curious. but I did get I did get at least what I was owed, that's and that's great. that's better than you know I had to yeah. pay my flight home, pay for a hotel room that night, and like that flight was so expensive Which during a snowstorm. Oh, I bet. So, but he's still out there operating. So yeah, be careful. yeah. I did you have mostly positive experiences off of sexy jobs? I feel like I get I got I was on there briefly, and it was just all trash. Um, I, I had some weirdos, but yeah. like, I learned how to like filter them. Oh, got it. I was like, I just like could recognize red flags pretty quickly. Cool. You know? Yeah. I just got on there. I was like, trash, trash, trash. Yeah. It's trash. mostly, I, like, yeah. I don't, I don't use sexy jobs anymore. Yeah. I was, I was like, like, I'm, I'm like, done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But like, I guess with that guy, he had offered me so much money. 
that I was just kind of like, whatever, just suck it up and do what you got to do. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because it's like, okay, this will pay, what, your rent for a couple months. Yeah. Or whatever. And, I'll, and my bills. Yeah, exactly. And it's a few days. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, I was like, it let's just suck tempting. it up. And, yeah, so never again. Yeah. So, yeah, no more sexy jobs. But there's some legit jobs out there. I've, I've met some nice That's people. Good. But, like, yeah, there's some weirdos out there. So, any girls out there on sexy jobs, feel free to reach out to me. I will tell you how to look for red flags because I'm a master at it. So. <laughs> if you had to try to explain what you do as your process of identifying red flags, what would you say? Oh my gosh. I guess I, don't, I really don't even know. So I'll start with my answer Yeah, let's and hear you yours. can think about yours while I'm talking and then give yours. Okay. Let's hear yours. So I would say first off, grammatical errors, <coughs> misspellings, um, uh, not enough description, disorganized, like, I want my um, first communication to say who you are. I want it to have your links. I want it to say, hey, my name, spelled right. Um, <laughs> what's your spells? L-A-U-R-A often or L-A-R-A. Out. Yes, out. And I want it to say um, who they are and have a couple links to whatever you're most proud of like of your works, you know? Yeah. Who to show are, you're a legit person. Yeah. Who are you? Um, so have a couple links and say, I think we would be a really great fit for X, Y, Z and explain why. And then give your proposition. Like, do you want it to be a full trade? Do you think that we are equals and would equally benefit from this? Are you just getting started? And in which case, like, we cannot do a trade. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, hello, I am just getting started and I am cute, but I think I would be good. <laughs> yeah, like people like, that no. are just getting started and they're like, oh, I want to do a collab with you. And I'm like, oh, okay, no. Mm. There's going to be a fee for that. Like, you're going to have to pay to do, because you have 36 followers. Yes. You know, like, how is that going to benefit me? It will You're not going to be able to promote me. Right. And the video might not even sell for me. Exactly. So I have to go get tested, yep. which is going to cost me $300. Do I to need to travel thing. to you? Yes. Like, this is going to cost me a lot of money. This is not just, like, a free thing. Like, yeah. I'm not just some, like, slut with no STD test not ready to, to fuck on the couch. Right. <laughs> not to mention you have, you know, a family that you're going to be away from. You know, yeah. or I would be away from my spouse, you know. So, um, I'm like, like, and plus you're a big fat question mark. Like you are a big fat question mark. I don't know if you can perform with the lights on. Yeah. We don't know. We don't know. Yeah. Are you a porn guy or not? Yeah. Are you not? Like, are it's you going to get too nervous? Can you not do it? Can you keep it up? Yeah. Can you bust the nut? Because, you know, can you do that for 30 minutes? <laughs> yeah. Are you going to come in two seconds? When we need you to. <laughs> yeah. You got to be able to control your dick. Like, thank God I'm a woman. It is so <laughs> difficult being a man, and I am so happy. I'm so glad I'm a woman I'm a and born. And and I don't have to worry about boners and And I jizz. admit that it's a little unfair. Yeah. <laughs> we get paid more, and our job's a little... Yeah, but actually, we have to get railed all the time. That's so true, that's it, true. I feel like it's a pretty even trade. Yeah. And We're and both and very skilled at and our my, jobs. my cervix is not that deep, so it gets bruised. Yeah. <laughs> I got fucked super hard earlier. It's I, true. I, you're like, stop for a second. Stop, I had to stop, tell stop. Leo. I was that's, like, what? That's time out. Time out. Time out. Okay. I was like, oh, my insides are like okay. literally being stirred. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. <laughs> okay, I'm ready. But easy. <laughs> Slow. Okay, we're ready. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it's not easy. No, totally. But I guess my biggest red flag is um, pushiness mm -hmm. in men. When they keep pushing you and pushing you, when are we going to shoot? When, when can I come see you? When are you free? When are you free? And it's like, look, that is like the biggest turnoff for me. And it makes yeah. me not want to work with you is when you harass me. Or like if I want to work with you. Yeah. It's like if I want to work with you, I will work with you and I will get back to you. But if you're going to text me or message me like constantly, yeah. it makes me feel like you're desperate and I don't want to work with yeah. you. 
What gets me is when people feel entitled. Like maybe I was really busy on one tour and I said, you know, in a nice message, like, hey, I'm, I'm fully booked this tour, you know, um, why don't we check out how the next tour goes, you know, and maybe we can shoot then. And then the next tour comes and of course they will message me within a couple of days of that location. And I'm like, yeah, I'm fully booked. And they're like, oh, you said you were going to shoot with and me. And they take it offensively. But they're mad about it. And I'm like, mad about, okay, okay, nope, nope, mm -hmm. nope. I was like, you are not entitled. Like I To my time. Yeah, and I try to schedule things as far out in advance as I can because that makes my life easier. I know where I'm going to be. I know the drive times. I know what to pack. And I make a pack list, you know. Yeah, I'm like a planner. Then, yeah. yeah. Too. I'm a planner. So it's like if you don't get back to me within a certain period of time, mm -hmm. I'm very less likely to just like randomly schedule you. Yes. You know what I mean? And then totally. you get mad at me for it. And, and then they're like, like no. what? You can't make time for me? Like, Absolutely, and then I you cannot. like shame me for not? <laughs> I'm like, no, hell no. Yeah, because there's so many good, respectful people who will reach out and they tell you exactly who you are and you know well worded like love your work would love to shoot with you just check out my stuff let me know if you are interested you know and just reach back out i won't you know reach back out to you but i'd love to film with you if you think we're a good fit yeah feel that's like that's the way to do it that's the way to do it don't shame somebody yeah just if they don't have time this is me don't make them feel bad about it because yeah. there's been a lot of tours that I've gone on oh, and it's yeah. like I haven't been able to get to people and then they were like, what, you don't have time for me? And I'm like, it's not that I don't have time for you, you just didn't get back to me yeah. and I didn't get to schedule you. And so, yeah, it gets yeah. nerves. Yeah, me too. Like, me yeah, too. don't get mad at me because I'm busy. Yeah, that's good. That, that means that with, we're doing a good job and we're scheduling like successfully and you know we're it's hard to make a full-time business as an independent girl an independent model like it's hard it takes planning it takes like discipline foresight you know accountability you can't cancel things because you don't feel good whenever you don't feel good yeah if you wake up and you're tired or whatever you have a little tummy ache like you still go do the things yeah and there was one time i went to fly to go to glory hole swallow and i had strep throat <laughs> i had been on antibiotics so i wasn't contagious sure. so i was like not but contagious. it was sore but yeah and i sore. was like flying from the east coast mm -hmm. all the way to the west coast to go film a fucking i had to go suck like 20 dicks in one day with strep throat and i was like i'm a fucking trooper okay yeah you are <laughs> i filmed with i won't say who um when I had a unidentified stomach virus and I told them because they had made a long expensive trip out to film with me mm -hmm. and I said I think I'm gonna I think I'm very very sick here are my symptoms <laughs> I think I'm gonna get you sick um I'm like I don't know how this is gonna go. My energy is horrible. Oh my god, I can't imagine filming with a stomach. Yeah, <laughs> but I was like, I will try to film with you did if you, you did, would did like you to. Try? I we filmed. Ooh. We filmed the yeah, see? the videos on my site. Troopers. The videos on their site. I won't say if it's a girl or a guy or who it is, but it's up. <laughs> and it sold pretty well. But Troopers. they knew that I was sick. I don't know if they got sick after. I didn't ask. But uh, yeah, I don't. They, think... I know they asked to film with me again, so it couldn't have been that bad. Yeah, we're troopers, man. We are troopers. Yeah. I was like, mm. I was like, I don't know most people wouldn't go to work with strep throat, but I went to flew across the country and yeah. sucked like twenty guys' dicks in one day. So I think it was a you medal of honor for that. I would agree. I think like showing up and following through and sticking to your word and being responsible is like the biggest key in the world. You do yeah. not have to be the hottest, like you don't i feel like that's what people think people think like oh you just have to be like the hottest girl in the world and you'll be really successful and that's not true i know a lot of really 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 hot girls that fail and flop and yeah. have to go back out to their normal jobs because they're not legit about it well they're just not responsible and they um let their emotions get the best of them and they will um cancel 
for emotional reasons or anxiety reasons versus like she's gonna suck it up. Yeah, versus like legit reasons. Like I know like everybody has anxiety and I, I have horrible like, anxiety. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah, everybody has anxiety and I know that that really sucks. Um but uh I feel like it's even a bad habit if it isn't a you have to yeah, learn how to legit face it. panic attack in this industry. You just have to learn how to face it. Like, there's been so many times that I'm like, tough. and I'm like driving to a shoot where I'm like, I don't know these people, I don't know what's gonna happen, and I have to have sex with these people. And it's just yeah. like, you just want to turn your car around in the middle of the road and just like leave, but yeah, you, you can't do that. You're like, this is no, this is what I signed up for. It's my yeah. job, you got to just like go through with it, you and, know? and the shoot can't go on without you, yeah. And think about how much money the producers would be out if you let that get the best of you, yeah. And all of your other talent and performers, they can't do it without you, yeah, you know. And they are out, and as soon as they're like, oh this person canceled on me, they can't show up on time. And then that's very quick. You're like, spread. not only you're screwing so many people over. Yeah. yeah. And that's when karma's going to come back and get you. Yeah. And I mean, I just think like, it's not a good industry for emotionally fragile people. No. I, I think that's what it boils down to. Yeah. You have to be strong. Yeah. You have to be. And, and that sucks, but it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of other jobs where you could be potentially, you know, behind a computer or somewhere where you don't have to be in front of people and performing and around a ton of people. Yeah. You know, every time you do your job. But this is not it. This is not it. This is not it. You have to be naked getting fucked in front of people. Yes. And that's your job. And that's your job. Correct. If you can't handle it. Go yes. back to the cubicle, I guess. And yeah, or there's, I don't know, there's some of online jobs. Yeah. I actually saw a job posting for a OnlyFans chatter. Oh, yeah, 100%. You can work back end of this. Yeah, you can be an OnlyFans yes. chatter. You can get paid $25 an hour. Yeah. By the way, I don't hire chatters on my page. It's me. <laughs> yeah, um, I chat with all of the people on all of my pages. It's me. You can tell. It is me as well. You can also tell because... You can always tell when someone has a chatter because it's yeah. like way too many messages and it's mm -hmm. like, are you horny? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah. But you can tell. Like, that is you true. Know, unsubscribe to these people. There's... Subscribe to real girls that are online working their asses off and not paying... Some guy, $25 an hour in another a country. Yeah, a guy. It's 100% a guy that you're jerking off to. Yeah. Unsubscribe. <laughs> Subscribe to the girl that doesn't message you 35 times in one day. Yeah. Yeah, I'll get back to people. I aim for every 24 hours, mm -hmm. and I usually hit that. But Same. But it's not... Like, it's not going to be multiple times in a day unless I am bored and horny, which is rarely because I get a lot of dick. But sometimes. <laughs> but yeah, sometimes, sometimes, I'll, sometimes yeah. I'll be online, like, all day. Sometimes I'll be online yeah. once a day. But it's me. You're not talking to some random guy yeah. across overseas being like, hey, baby, did you see my pussy? Like, no, it's right. me. Right, and a lot of times I'll wake up in the morning and I'll be looking down. I'm like, oh, shoot. It didn't get back to this person. And I'll go down and message everybody. Yeah, I've, I've messaged everybody. Yeah. No matter what. If you're on my free page or my VIP page, I will message you something. Yep, exactly. And then, yeah, and then I'll go on, yeah, to emails and yeah. all of that. Yeah, OnlyFans is where I start. So. Yeah. Um, so, incidentally, um, if there were a girl or a guy, ooh, it would be very different with a girl versus guy. If there, let's separate these. If there were a girl that wanted to get into OnlyFans, what would you recommend? Um, actually, one of my friends is like looking to get into it, and you know, I just told her I was like, you have to make it. It's not just like posting naked pictures. Yes. It's not just like, oh, I'm gonna throw up a couple pictures online and I'm gonna make some money. No, it is like a commitment. It yes. is a time commitment. Yes. You can't just put pictures up. You have to, it's marketing. Yeah. I spend more time marketing my OnlyFans than I do on my OnlyFans. Yes. Yeah, for sure. Like trying to promote it on like Reddit or wherever. Um, so I say, if you wanna start an OnlyFans, like 
if you want to just post pictures, you're not going to make any money. I agree. Yeah. If it was a guy who said, hey, I want to start an OnlyFans page, what would you tell him? I would tell to him to, because um, first of all, I know what he's going to do, try to reach out to people like me to try to shoot. Yep. And I am going to tell him no, <laughs> because you don't have a following. You have zero posts. You have zero posts. <laughs> And I don't want to, and I've had guys get mad at me because I offer, because I ask for a collab fee. Oh, I think that's For smart. a low following. And it's not totally even that fine. high. I've had, I, I offer, or I ask for a $400 collab fee. Totally reasonable. Yeah. That covers my testing. Yeah. And, you know, travel. And people get mad at me about it. They're like, well, I have girls that I'll film with me for free. Like, well, cool. that's great. You go have, film with them. Have fun. So I recommend for guys getting started, go find girls that are just getting started. I agree. Don't find girls that are already established because they're probably not going to want to film with you. And that's not an insult. It's just you don't have followers. Your videos aren't going to sell as well. You aren't going to be able to market us. Like, yeah, we we're have, not going to get any new followers from you. Yeah, we're not going to get new subscribers. It's, you're basically fucking us for free. Yes. And we are not people that are just out to fuck for free. I'm we not. are we are not in this yeah. for free. We are in this is our we are Job. in it to make money. Yeah. Also, like I would like to have sex with my husband a little more than I do. So, you know, if you are going to be the guy that I have sex with this day because I will not have sex with both of you. Yeah. Yeah. Make it worth it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's true, though. It is. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. I know, right? Yeah, over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I completely agree with that. 100%. Yeah. Um, so I was like, don't hassle us either about it. I would say to a guy who wants to start a OnlyFans. So, first, no, it's going to be an uphill battle because it is unfairly skewed towards women. Yes. In this industry. You got to have some hot girls. And some it, hot scenes. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, men spend more money on porn than women do. And mm -hmm. that is a fact. I would never spend money on porn. It is, it's just a fact. Yeah. And um, so I know a ton of men who are very successful in the bisexual or gay. Yeah, it's all the bisexual stuff. Because yes. like the guys pay for OnlyFans because they pay for like getting to know the woman too. It's like mm -hmm. all about like a personal connection. It's not just like, oh, you get to watch my porn. Like you get to know me. Like I post about they my get, personal life. Yeah. They chat with both of us. Yeah. Like I chat with everybody, yeah. like everybody. Like there's some people I will send like paragraph text messages to every day. Yeah. And that's like important. They're my fans. They're paying for my content. They yeah. are my fans. And if you're a man, women aren't going to do that. You have to, you're going to look for men to want to buy your content. That's true. So you just have to market yourself as a straight up porn site. Yeah. You don't want to be like a person. Like no man is going to want to talk to you. You want to yes. sell to men though. So you want to market yeah. yourself on Pornhub. You want to put your clips yes. on Pornhub. Pornhub, and X, X Hamster, videos, X, X Hamster. videos. Yeah. Like you're going to have a yeah. harder, but all you have to do I have met so many people that have very successful OnlyFans. This is their business model. You put clips on Pornhub, X Hamster, X Videos. That's all you have to do. Mm -hmm. So there you go. There's your business plan. And get I would say it. you get very successful on there. And you make sure that's part of your link when you reach out to these girls. Um, when you say, hey, like I am a legit porn star, mm -hmm. porn performer. And then there's these free full-length videos that they get to watch of you performing and see if that's something they're interested in. And if they want that extra exposure, then you could potentially give that to them. Um, yeah, and as far as the men subscribing to your OnlyFans, I would say you should have a slightly lower price than the women um, who you are filming with. 
uh, because most of the men who subscribe want to see you with a bunch of different women because they want to envision themselves as you with these girls. Mm -hmm. They want to see themselves as like the everyday guy. Yeah. Like it's just fuck porn stars. They want to like, yeah. you, they want to be in your shoes. They want to be me. Yeah. They want to be They want to be Leo. They want to be Leo. <laughs> who has an OnlyFans, by So the you want to paint a picture of, you want to make sure that your viewers can pretend that they're you yes. and like give them an insight of like what it's like to like meet these porn yeah. women and fuck them and stuff like that. Yeah, totally agree. Which, um, yeah, the POV model is pretty good for that. But also if they self-identify with, you know, with you, um, then like they would probably subscribe and ask, Hey, what was it like with, in which case I think you should also film behind the scenes videos. Yeah. Behind the scenes. And you should also probably, you should also film buy stuff. Even if you're not by, <laughs> just do it. Just do it. What is it going to do? She you? says be gay for pay. Just be gay. For pay, yeah. Just be a little gay. Just do it. Just think of a number. It's not that hard. <laughs> I'm not a lesbian. Yeah. She she plays a good one. I will lick pussy all day long. It's, it's, I mean, I, I mean, it's not like I hate it, but I'm just like, all right, yeah. She's believable. Yeah. I mean, I mean, I, I like it. I like a beautiful vagina. You know what I mean? Yeah. But, I mean, and you could also That's like funny. a beautiful dick. <laughs> It's not going to kill you to put it in your mouth. It's not. You're not going to be gay. I promise. You will not turn gay. You might make some money, actually. <laughs> you might you benefit. Will. Yeah. You will benefit from putting a dick in your mouth. I promise you. <laughs> Take notes. I don't think we can do any better than this. <laughs> I think um I think I think this is this is the perfect ending. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just giving you the best advice I can give. <laughs> so if everybody wanted to find you and be your friend and your subscriber, where would they go? Well you can go to my OnlyFans. It's at Parker's Guys. Or my Twitter is also at Parker's Guys. Or my Instagram is at Parker underscore Skies. So come follow me for more advice. Yes, she gives great advice. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if you are looking to get in the industry and you are a male, you should probably join her OnlyFans and she'll give you some solid advice. Yeah, talk to me. I'll teach you how to suck dick if you don't know how if you're a guy. We need to make a tutorial with you. Yeah, I'll teach you how to deep throw. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to come around and hit the button. Yeah, I think this was the best ever. <laughs> Give a wave. <laughs> Bye, y'all.